Height, 5'10 and a quarter, 178. Weight, 226, 102, 103 kg. Arm length, average, 31 and 1 eighth of an inch. Hand size, 9 and a half. A 40 yard dash, guys, and this is what, this is what, you know, well, this is what basically brought him to my attention. 4.39, 40 yard dash, and it was as impressive as, as any 40 yard dash you're ever going to see. Uh, a 20 yard shuttle of 424, a 3 cone drill of 701, a vertical jump of 36 inches and a broad jump of 10 foot 3, and 17 reps on the bench press to boot. Oh, I didn't know this, so he's selecting the second round by the Colts, who had acquired the pick from the Cleveland Browns in a trade. What was that trade? This article was written on the 24th of April. The Colts trade to 41st spot and take Jonathan Taylor. The Colts were... Yeah, don't care about that. The Colts were aggressive at the top of the second round, adding weapons for Phillip Rivers and their offense. After taking Michael Pittman with their own 34th pick, the Colts traded into the 41st spot to take Wisconsin running back Jonathan Taylor. The pick originally belonged to the Browns. Okay, so the Cleveland Browns, as we can see, traded... Jonathan, obviously, the, I mean, the Browns, if they didn't need... If they didn't need a running back, then that's, that is what it is, right? Okay, so they got... They might have needed a center. It seems the 160th pick would have been, you know, the pick that, that makes the Browns feel like they got a good deal, right? Because 44 and 42 are pretty much, you know, pretty much the same. But with all that being said, they got safety, Grant Delpit from LSU and they got center Nick Harris from Washington and I gotta say I mean I have no idea who either of these guys are but to trade away Jonathan Taylor did they think that they were still gonna keep Jonathan Taylor and be able to get him at 44 who fucking knows man that's the, that's the fun of the draft isn't it that's the that's the uh, well that's the draft all over anyways guys I, I do firmly believe that the Colts won with that trade. And with that being said, we're about to look at his highlights. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane is quite go get it like me. Wow, please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, fuck, what do we got here? Well, I have to spell his name right first, so we'll go J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N. There we go. Boom! Right. Just Bombs Productions. 266,000 views. Coldest running back in college football. The Colts get a playmaker in Jonathan Taylor with the 41st overall pick. And that's by CBS Sports. Now, CBS Sports recently has come to the table, um, putting together highlight videos of putting together a highlight video of DeAndre Swift, and it just included basically every single play, raw, unedited, including the commentary, and I absolutely loved it. I'm going to look for the same video for Jonathan Taylor, but if I can't find it, we'll just go for the top one. It actually says that I've watched that before, but I certainly haven't. Oh man, there's heaps of stuff. There's heaps of stuff I could watch. We've got an interview with Jonathan Taylor. Now that, that's something I'd love to see. But first, we're going to go... With what is apparently the coldest running back in college football. Is that... Is that because Wisconsin's in a cold climate? Is that because it's always snowing in Wisconsin? I feel like it is, for some reason. Aight! Uh, bro, he's 5'10". Right, it wasn't going anywhere there. Um, right, guys, I just have to sort of try and... I just have to sort of try and, you know, prepare myself for what I'm about to see because those statistics, bro, were, 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 were absolutely ridiculous and I've, I've just read them and I've taken them in, right? But now we're about to see the actual plays that, you know, fulfill those statistics and, and to think that we're about to do that is extremely exciting, guys. And I can't fucking wait, so let's go. I want to see this guy for the Colts. The first of Taylor's career. 
one thing. Oh, mate. The 14th of September. Which will probably be the 13th for you guys. We've got the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Indianapolis Colts. That's going to be a good one. Oh, he's, he runs he runs at pace. I wouldn't be surprised if just like Saquon Barkley, Jonathan Taylor's favorite running back is Adrian Peterson. Because I tell you what, after watching Adrian Peterson, whenever I see someone take that hand off and go flying into the line, I always think, well, that's like Adrian Peterson. Fuck, he's got speed, bro. 439. 439. I've just watched one running back and two other wide receivers this morning, and none of them had that much speed. Okay? None of them had that many yards. None of them were pushed as far down the draft list as Taylor. Funnily enough. Oh, bro, the steps, bro. His, his, his stride. Oh, yeah. His stride. He's got a, he's got a no, noticeably um, long and strong stride. Too much, too much pace. Too much pace. 50 college football touchdowns in 41 games. It's just who he is. 100 yards and a touchdown, that's just who he is. 100 yards and a touchdown. Goodbye, touchdown, Jonathan Taylor. Yards to the nice jump cut, man. Touchdown today. But he is a guaranteed 100 yards and a touchdown. Oh, God damn. Two moves, not just one. Hell, bro. Don't go high. You, you can't go high. He's got the strength. Does he give a stiff arm? No, no specific stiff arm. It's just the, just the overall, you know, lowering of the shoulder, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Laters. Oh, mate. Let's have a look at this. Right. Not only does he have to stutter... What's that guy doing on the ground? <laughs> it's like he's dead. <laughs> oh, bro. Nice wee bang off the right. <clears throat> okay, we've got a reception here. And a receiving touchdown. Where was he lining up? Where was he lining up? There he is. He's lining up as a slot receiver. No, he's not. Where is he? Uh, there he is. So he's lining up as a... As a receiver. We've got five receivers on the 15 yard line. It's not going to be easy to mark, is it? From the pocket, throw short, and the pass. Taylor stretches. He got there. Mm. Touchdown. What an effort from Jonathan Taylor. Looks like he could have a career Bro, okay, that just, oh my god, the shivers, mate. Look at that. Oh, don't you worry. 
the shivers have come. And it's always a special reason when the shivers come. And the reason is because I heard that guy call basically the same play with the same amount of enthusiasm for our boy from this side of the world, Jared Hayne. And before we continue, I have to show you that play. I have to show you that play. We're going to listen to this once again. Then we're going to switch over to the Jared Hayne play. Hear this guy call it. Because he loved it just as much and so did I. And I've watched those Jared Hayne clips so many times that I know them all off by heart now. So that's going to be fun. Listen. Listen up. I fucking love it. Alright. Now. Hane with the cutback. Hane! Hane down the sideline! Something like that. Let's see how close I was. Um, I think it was his debut. I think it was his preseason debut. Well, there wasn't much there. Texans up to the challenge as Mike Muhammad on the tackle of Jared Watch this. Best moment ever. Okay, now, for your viewing pleasure, let's watch Jonathan Taylor's run once more and continue. I don't think it's the same guy. Although, it might be. Just trying to think, is Wisconsin uh, near... Yeah, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, guys. Well, this is college football, not the NFL. But I will say, wholeheartedly with confidence that... I love Jared Hayne. I really do. He's one of my favourite ever athletes. Um, but, you know, he's no Jonathan Taylor. He's got every single move available, you know what I mean? Jump cut, sprint, truck, spin move. He's got patience, he can catch the ball. And when he pins his ears back like that, no one's catching him. That's the thing. That's the thing, man. Most defensive backs are the fastest players on the field, right? But when you've got a running back that runs a 4-3-9 flat, similar to Saquon Barkley, runs a 4-4, he beats a couple of defenders, bounces out to the left or right, he's gone. You know what I mean? If, if there is distance between the running back and the defender, with that pace, you know, what usually happens is they'll get mowed down, right? Whether they get tackled or not is another story, but they will get caught. But with that kind of pace, you know, anything's possible. And that kind of footwork, you know. Hmm. <laughs> A couple of these plays I've seen recently, the ref, the ref's been in some interesting positions, I'll say. Oh, what? See that's see classic moment, classic. Breaks a few tackles and backs his speed when, you know, someone else may not have actually made it all that way with that cover defender coming across. Wow. So that's one of his receiving touchdowns then. On the burst, that's Adrian Peterson all day. Touchdown, Badgers! 
Big hole for Jonathan Taylor. 40, 30, 20, 10. You'd be happy with that. Oh, he's doing the same thing, but on the other side of the field. Literally. We just saw that play on the opposite side of the field. Acceleration, bro. Next level. Next level. Boom. Next minute. Ooh, all right, so I know this is meant to be the coldest uh, running back in college football, but what I will say is that it's fucking cold here in Christchurch, too. Let's continue. It's like we just see the same run over and over again. I mean, the, 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 the thing that really is going to... going to let us know if... he is worth all of those 6,000 rushing yards in college is going to be how he performs in the NFL. We'll see a few touches in the preseason. We'll get a bit of a gist of how he's going. And I cannot wait! I cannot wait. He couldn't have done... Yes, boy. He couldn't have done too much more in college. I mean, he's done all he can. You know what I mean? Plus some. Never got the Heisman, though. Two Dope Walker Awards. Look at that. Bang, bang. Gets it. One step, two steps, bang, bang. Right, left. To get through his two blockers. It's the awareness. You know, it's the muscle memory. It's those two steps, bang, bang, that can get him basically through any hole that he sees in front of him. Has he got the pace? Yes, he does. Nice. Oh! Way to stay on your feet. Too much speed. You give him, you're giving him way too much, pa way too much space. Sorry, uh, to to wind up. Because at the end of the day, you know, if you were that cornerback and you were the one, oh, finally someone actually caught him from behind and didn't fall off the tackle. I've got to say, well done. Hey, that's my ball. Fuck, he did well, man. He did well to hold on to that, didn't he? We all know how well he did to hold on to that ball just then. Because you got those ball hawks that, okay, if they can't bring you down, the next best thing is going to be to rip that fucking ball from your grip. And that's something we don't have to contend with in the game of rugby, I'll say. Because if they rip the ball out and it goes forward off of their hand, it's a knock-on and it's our ball. If they rip it out and it goes backwards from their hand, well, that would be a turnover and that would be a fantastic play. But the risk of the ball travelling forward is too high to be doing that. This is rugby union. In rugby league, it's, it's a different story. You are allowed to strip the ball. It's not allowed to touch the ground after stripping it, so you actually have to strip it and hold on to it. And you can only strip the ball 
whilst there is one tackler involved in the tackle. If there's two defenders tackling the attacker, they can't strip the ball. What you'll find in the game of rugby league is it's a bit of a wrestle sometimes. The two defenders will be, you know, standing up, trying to trying to wrap up the uh, attacker. One of those defenders will have their arms right around the ball, okay? And they'll realize that, shit, if I pull the ball, we're going to get a strip here. But because there's two players in the tackle, they can't do it. It's illegal. So what will happen is they'll, they'll let the other player know somehow to let go. One defender lets go. And then in the next split second, the ball gets stripped. Different rules, different games, same shaped ball, same shaped field. Fifty touchdowns. Fifty rushing touchdowns. Five receiving touchdowns. Yeah, you ain't stopping him from there. Oh, well, that was just too easy. Right, he didn't have he didn't have a lot he didn't have a lot of room to move there, to be honest. Yes. Definitely use that 85. Uh, yeah, that's that same commentator. Alright, this is interesting. How many... Alright, what do we got here? Okay. Well, I, th well, I, thought, I thought definitely he's going to bounce out to the, the left or right. Hang on. There's, there's no wide receivers, is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you're telling me that basically within a 20 yard... No, sorry, 10 yards. The, uh, the hashes is the middle. So, so you're telling me that basically within a, t a 10 yard box... Okay, let's call this a 10 yard box. We've got 10 along the back, 10 along the side. 10 here, 10 here. You've got... 21 other players within that, oh, sorry, plus a referee, 21 other players plus one ref within this 20 yard or 10 yard box, 10 yard squared. And you're telling me Jonathan Taylor makes his way through every single one of those players and scores a touchdown. How? I think I know how actually, I think I do. His line, his offensive line made, made way. Yeah, look, I mean, you've got the three offensive linemen that have just pushed these guys back. There is. A lane's been made. Look, it's like a wall of white to the left. And Taylor split, splits them in the end. What? What? You're telling me three, oh my god, 300 yards. Just give it to Taylor, man. Honestly, just give it to Taylor. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? I think everything's already been said. And if not by me, by other analysts. Guys, we're calling it a day here. That was... Well, it was four reactions this morning, and I thoroughly enjoyed all of them. We, we started this morning at 6.30, 6.30am, on uh, what is the 3rd of July, 2020. It is now 10 o'clock am, and it's time for Major Key Physiques to officially go live. So guys, thank you so much for watching. All of these four videos are going to come out in quick succession. I really hope you've enjoyed them. I hope you can get behind the brand once again, Major Key Physiques. Uh, which is my business. It's just me. I have no staff. You know, it's just me and my YouTube channel. Major Key Physiques is New Zealand's premier bodybuilding and fitness brand. Um, and it has been the title sponsor for my YouTube channel for the best part of two years. And it's going to continue that way. Um, I'm feeling really excited. I'm feeling really positive, accomplished. And uh, yeah, look, any support, guys, any support is, is much appreciated. 
um, whether that be a view um, or even better a like um, or even better a purchase of major key physics products which I'm sure you guys are gonna love and if you don't is a hundred percent money back guarantee so with that being said guys have a fantastic day thank you so much for watching there's plenty of content to come and I'll see you then peace out